Hello everyone at one End Gaming. What you guys are watching is a Black Ops 2 gameplay on the map Raid, playing some multi-team hardpoint. This gameplay is by Prowler and he goes 202 to 2 and gets a double nuclear with the AN94 with the weaponized 115 camo. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this gameplay as long with the commentary. Now as for the commentator, aka myself, it doesn't matter who I am. If you guys seriously enjoyed the commentary, come check out my channel. We don't need to do the same intro that everyone does says, Hey guys, how's it going? This is blah 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 Yeah, no, it's not, it's not gonna work that way. If you wanna know who I am, click in the description and you'll find my channel. That's all I gotta say. But in today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys a little story that happened to me a little while back. I was probably around maybe 10 or 11, and this story occurred in the summer. It was a really, really nice day. It wasn't too hot. It was like in the 70s, and there was like a nice little breeze going. It was actually quite nice. I just get wet thinking about that day. That was the perfect summer day. That summer day was so perfect that you can make it a Kodak moment. So it's a beautiful summer day. I wake up, I go to the kitchen, I don't make myself breakfast, I refuse to have breakfast because it's such a nice day out, and I take my bike and ride to my friend's house, which is literally right across the street from mine. And my friend is about maybe a year or two younger than me, and at the time we both loved bike riding. I mean, I still do, but I really don't have the time for it anymore. Usually in the summer I like to bike ride, but got a lot of stuff to do. But anyways, enough rambling. So I go over to my friend and I say, hey, you want to go bike riding? He, he says, yeah, sure, why not? So we take our bikes and we start riding down the streets. We're riding our bikes around the block and you know when you're riding your bike and you see a speed bump and you go super fast on the speed bump and you jump over the speed bump and you get that little like oomph when you jump over that speed bump you know how cool you feel when you go over that speed bump i don't know why but it made it just feel so cool when we were going over that speed bump it was just a tiny little bump on the side of the road and yet we felt cool going over it we were just sad little kids so we were riding for an hour and then suddenly this happened i always wear a helmet when i ride a bike not because my parents tell me to i could honestly take the helmet off if i want but it's because i have my own personal fear of falling on my head and that happened a long time ago when i used to never wear my helmet now i'm just utterly terrified that story you'll probably hear from me at another time so i always used to wear helmets ever since that other time i was just scared of falling on my head and probably killing myself because when i was younger a lot of stuff gets into your head once you hear stories you get curious you look it up you find out that someone died when they crashed their head onto the pavement then you click a random cat video you start laughing but then you realize you clicked on something that was from something that was terrible so now you're pretty much depressed and you really don't want to go back surfing the internet you know that kind of feeling? But anyways. So my friend never wore a helmet. I did. I was wearing a helmet at that time. He wasn't. So we're riding, right? We feel the nice breeze in our hair. You know, we're, you know, cranking up the, uh, the handlebars, thinking that we're all cool and shit. At the corner of my eye, I see a car starting to back out of the driveway, and I immediately pulled the brakes. And we were so close to this car. It wasn't even funny. By the time I stopped my brakes, my bike literally just touched his car. Like a little bump. Oh, but it was too late for my friend. Don't worry, he didn't die. So my friend, he's still going at a super fast speed, and by the time he looks to see what I'm looking at, his bike just stops. Stops at a halt. He was going so fast that he was literally launched off his bike and flipped in the air. I swear I thought someone threw a giant bird. Like he was just flying. So he front flips over the car and lands on his back on the other side of the car. And, and dude, he, he looks so terrible. He had a cut on his knee. His two elbow pads were like all the way up to his wrists. His back was like all scratched and everything. It was really, really disgusting how much blood there was too. So the guy comes out of his car. He's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. You know, all that spiel. But really it was just my friend's fault because he didn't pay attention. So I get off my bike and I look to see where his bike went. And his bike literally rammed into the car so hard that it made a giant dent in the gas tank. Like, that guy cannot open his gas tank after the bicycle hit it. Like, it was stuck. It was just latched on there. And then my friend had this light on his bike for, like, nighttime. You know those little nighttime red lights that you always see all the time on bikes? It was literally, like, scrunched. Like, forward. Both of the edges were just coming in. It was disturbing. I honestly thought he died when he got hit. It was crazy. After seeing a kid that's, what, like, 140 pounds, because he was, like, really heavy at the time, just fly over a car, like, E.T. home, <laughs> I was done. I thought he died. But I rushed to the other side of the car, and there he is, just, you know, severely injured. He didn't have to go to the hospital, thank God, but we had so much ice on him, it wasn't even funny. We had him put so much ice on that he looked like Frosty the Snowman. And, you know, luckily the guy didn't sue. 
I mean, of course, I wouldn't be the one getting sued, but... And that was pretty much it. And this is one of the reasons why I always wear a helmet. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this story. If you did, drop a like for 1N. Check out Prowler. His link is in the description. He's got awesome gameplays to show you guys, so go check it out. My link is in the description if you guys enjoyed the commentary. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay classy.